Good evening all and welcome to another video on All How The Ale. Tonight we're going for a beer that I made about a seven mile round trip for. It's a bit of a clue. It's this one. It is the uh, Vocation 15 mile round trip. So I saved about eight miles. It's great. Um, it's a double IPA weighing in 8% ABV and it's about 3.50 in your local Tesco right now. And it says on the back... 15 mile round trip double IPA. <clears throat> a well travelled double IPA brewed with a trio of outstanding hop varieties, and they sure are indeed. You've got Galaxy, Mosaic, and Citra. Uh, it's made in collaboration with Sure Shot, a brand new venture by brewing legend James Campbell. It's definitely worth a journey, it says. And uh, we've already covered the hops, um, but you've got your other usual ingredients of malted barley, wheat, and oats in there just to uh, hopefully. Give a bit of a clue that it's going to have a nice big body to it. Um, so, yeah. You've got some really, really nice artwork on there. It's like someone's done some light painting. Um, if you're not familiar with the term, look it up. It's a cool photography technique. It's very cool. Um, yeah. So, I have high hopes for this beer. Uh, I love Galaxy as a hop. Um, it is Burnt Mill. They've done some of my favourite beers with Galaxy in there. That was, that was some wonderful beers. Um, Enigmatic Galaxies, I think, was the one. It was amazing. Um, and we all know that Vocation put out a killer, killer beer. Uh, so, without further ado, we're going to pour and see what we get. So, we're going to pour into our Vocation glass today. And the pour is... Ooh, murky. Murky McMurkerson. And it's pouring with some oomph to it as well. So, <laughs> we need to clean the glass. Uh, wow. It's murky as hell. And as I was pouring, I've just got huge, huge aromas. And uh, there's citrus, there's stone fruit, there's a load going on there. But look, look, look at the colour. It's like soup. It's, it's looking great. Uh, you've got a head that is off-white, reasonably compact. Well, I say reasonably, yeah, maybe. But look at that. That bit's the important bit. It looks amazing, um, and the smell. Yeah, soft, ripe stone fruit. Think peaches are in abundance. You've got, you've got the citrus influence. It's not, it's it's not being, it's not in the foreground. That's what I'm trying to say. It's the citrus in the background. It's Beautiful stone fruit up front. Ripe, tropical. There's a hint of something boozy in the background. Oh, I could sit and huff from that all day. It's great. It smells incredibly promising. Looks incredible. Smells incredible. Do we get a trifecta of incredible? Let's taste it. Oh, yeah, yeah, we have. It's it's big. It's bold. It's green. It's fresh. It's tropical. It's stone fruit. It's it's a little bit special. There's dankness going on. Oh, lovely little bit of dankness in the background, like I say. Bit of booze. It's not as boozy as I perhaps first expected with that, that little kick on the aroma. Yes, it's all kinds of lovely. You've got, I mean, it, there is oats in the body, sure. It's medium bodied. It's not as heavy as I perhaps thought. I mean, to look at it, you'd think that is like drinking chicken soup. But, you know, it's it's medium it's got a nice soft mouth feel. There's a little bit of effervescence on the tongue. The dankness is coming out of those mosaic hops. I'm loving that. And like I said, it's green, it's fresh. There's a bit, it's very, very fresh tasting. The citra on the flavour is there, but it's very much in the background. It's a supporting role. The mosaic and the, the galaxy hops are just riding roughshod over the whole thing. It's wonderful. The dankness is just, yeah, love it. Absolutely love it. 
there is an element of bitterness to it. And as, as you kind of develop the flavours in your mouth on the finish, that green, real big hop profile is just smashing you in the face like a truck. It's wonderful. I'm, I'm, I'm very much enjoying this. I'm going to have a moment and just savour. Mm. It's big. It's bold. It reminds me in a big, big way of a beer that Burnt Mill did actually do. Um, and it was incredible. Swimming Giants. That was my beer of the year in 2019. It was just absolutely stunning. Um, it bears a good resemblance to that. And in part, just from the body, from the, from the flavour, it's just oh, delish. Boozy. Big, hoppy, bold, smash you in the face with a truckload of hops. Yeah, what, what, what's not to love? Literally. Oh. Vocation sure shot, 15 mile round trip. What do I think of you? Um, lots. Lots and lots and lots. It's big, it's bold, it's juicy, it's hoppy, it's tropical, it's wonderful. It's well worth a 15 mile round trip. You could add a couple of zeros on that and it'd be worth the round trip for that as well. You've got killer artwork, you've got a killer price, you've got killer flavour. It's incredible. It really is. So yeah. Stunning. Stunning beer. Uh, I don't think I need to tell you my score really, do I? I think you know. I think you know that it's going to... Uh, Five out of five from me on the old untapped score sheet of joy. This could well be the king of supermarket beers right now. It's it's stunning. Simply put, it is stunning. Um, and three fifty a can, bloody bargain. If you've not tried it, you really do need to. Um, that's what it looks like. Pay close attention. Go down to Tesco some tonight. It's it's still going to be open. There it is. Look. Right there. Remember it. Get it. Drink it. Enjoy it. Love it. And just tell me exactly what you think of it in the comments section below. Speaking of which, we're at the point in the video where I really do need to go and drink the rest of this beer because it's amazing and it's calling my name quite loudly. I can kind of hear it right now. So I'm going to say down there are some buttons. You know exactly what to do with them. You've got the like, comment, dislike and subscribe. Choose any combination of them as you wish. Let me know exactly how much you love it in that comment section below. Um, because I'm sure you will equally as much as me. So that's been the beer. I've been Nick. And I will see you again soon for another video. Bye.